Hey everyone, grab your tea and relax. Moving on from the situation described in my previous videos, I think it's important for me to share with you the reasons why I'd like to continue making YouTube content for you guys. But before we delve right into that, let's rewind back to when I made the intro to vlogs video back in September 2019. In that video I spoke about who I am, where I came from and why I made this channel. I grew up in Hackney which is a deprived neighbourhood in London. Throughout most of my childhood there were a lot of challenges that my family and I faced. I won't go into that in this video but let's just say that it's equipped me with qualities that make me resilient and able to overcome difficult situations in my life now. My dad is unwell, my mum is a full time carer and when it came to higher education my brother and I didn't really know who to go to for help. In my case I really struggled to even get inspiration. I didn't really have a proper role model and there was no one in my immediate community where I thought okay when I grow up I want to be like this person, I want to have this job, this is what I want to do. And even if I did think this is what I wanted to do I didn't know how to get there. When I watched TV I didn't see scientists or female doctors just there saying to me oh when you grow up you can be like me. I didn't have that. And then also from home as my parents hadn't completed university they weren't able to help my application from that perspective. So for me I had to really go out and find inspiration. Fortunately with Google I searched up programs that help young people from disadvantaged backgrounds and there were a couple that I applied to and I got accepted onto them. Some of them helped me financially, others helped with work experience, mentorship, so I was really grateful for that. Without that, I don't think I would have had any guidance for getting into university. Therefore, one of the reasons I started the channel was so that I can inspire young people from disadvantaged backgrounds, male and female, and really show them that if you work hard, you can achieve your dreams. A little girl from Hackney, parents hadn't gone to university, how do I get out of this situation? So yeah, inspiration and guidance is what I want to give to you guys. When I had made that intro to vlogs video I had just started final year of medical school. Final year of medical school is kind of different in that you're going from that period where you're a student to then transitioning into a doctor who's responsible for the lives of real people. I really wanted to record that transition. With quarantine there are some things that are cancelled like the student assistantship and our medical school electives which means that this transitional period for my cohort would be quite unique compared to all the other previous years and hopefully the years to come. More important than the structure of this transitional period, I wanted to capture my reflections. So what sort of things are coming to my mind when I'm observing the clinical setting? What am I finding challenging? What can you guys learn from my challenges? And what can you guys continue to practice from an early stage that I probably didn't get the chance to practice? Things like that. I did produce and upload several vlogs throughout the year. However, there's still a lot of content that I've recorded that I haven't actually converted into vlogs because that requires a lot of editing time. The initial plan was to have this period after exams from March all the way till the beginning of August. So March, April, May, June, July, literally like four months in order to edit all of that and post it for you guys. However, now I have an exam in June to sit and preparation for that exam is my priority. Having said that, the last thing I want to happen is for me to burn out. If I just kept working, working, working without taking any breaks, not sleeping properly, not eating properly, that's going to take a toll on my mental health and my physical health and that can in turn compromise on patient safety and that is not what we want. I have had a couple of comments on the original upload of me opening my results and a couple of people have said why are you making YouTube videos, isn't that the reason that you failed your exams in the first place and I want to address this concern. So let's talk about it. In my second year of medical school, I had taken on a lot of responsibilities. I was pre-clinical faculty representative, which meant that I had to chair student staff liaison committee meetings. I was also a committee member of a couple of societies, which meant that I had to do a lot for those societies. Also second year at my medical school was supposed to be the hardest year. So I was trying to juggle all of those. I was working so hard then that towards the end of that year, I started to develop symptoms of anxiety. And that is not where we want to be, okay? I realised that at the end of second year, beginning of third year, and since then I've been making sure that I'm working enough, but also 
not working too much to the point that I'm burning out and it's taking a negative toll on my mental health because without good mental health you don't have productivity you might not even be able to take care of yourself let alone those around you so just think about it that's not where we want to be okay so it's my third year I started working as an event photographer I'm now a published illustrator for an El Sovia book and more importantly since pursuing my hobbies I'm just a lot happier and more calm Making YouTube videos allows me to combine these hobbies as well as my passion for inspiring the younger generation. I'm passionate about encouraging people to learn from my mistakes so that you guys don't make them. I'm also keen about inspiring people and giving people that inspiration that I feel that I didn't have. There's also this whole goals culture on the internet where I don't know why, I don't know who came up with it, but we're all posting good aspects of our life and omitting the things that are not so good. Showing the realities of my life, especially the low points, I hope that makes you guys remember that it's okay not to feel okay sometimes. And I hope such relatable content allows people not to really doubt themselves or just feel low about themselves. Because really things that appear perfect on Instagram or YouTube may not even be like that in reality. And that's one thing that I want you guys to grasp and actually process and let it soak in. So to summarise, I'm going to continue studying for that exam, I'm going to continue making videos for you guys, it might not be as often as I had hoped and it might not be so many vlogs from the year gone, it might be a bit more study content or how I'm dealing with things or just like whatever's on my mind, so if you're into that sort of thing then keep watching my videos. I want to continue inspiring people and perhaps at some point even giving you guys guidance about getting into university or even surviving university, not just from an academic perspective but also mental health wise as well and I hope to also capture that transitional period between being a final year medical student and then being a doctor inshallah if that sort of content interests you turn on the notification bell now and you'll see me in the next one Mwah.